we have already learned what are nouns nouns are naming words what do they name they name people animals places or things so in this picture we see some people some animals some places or some things and the names of each of them is called a noun so let us look at some nouns monuments so is monuments a noun yes the word monuments is a noun because it is the name of a place so we visit monuments so monuments are places so the word monuments is naming a place and so it is a noun but one day if you sit in a cab and tell the cab driver that take me to a monument so where will he take you he'll be very confused so when i say monument or monuments it does not specify which monument am i talking about so the word monuments is the general name given to these places it does not tell us about any specific place or any specific monument but if i sit in a cab and if i tell the cab driver take me to the red fort then he will drop me exactly at this place this particular monument which is called red fort so it is the name of a specific monument similarly gateway of india it is the name of a specific monument so when i say gateway of india what you think about is this and only this nothing else when i say red fort what comes to your mind is this particular monument so these are specific names of monuments so nouns can be of two types one which describe the general names and the other which describe the specific names so a common noun is the general name of a person place animal or thing it is not specific to a particular person place animal or thing so words like monuments which are not specific but are general names are called common nouns so i can say that the word monuments is a common noun and a name that identifies a specific or particular person place animal or thing is called a proper noun so words like red fort gateway of india they are specific names those names or those words are proper nouns in written english a proper noun always begins with a capital letter so we know that these are capital letters and we always write proper nouns with capital letters so can you tell me who are these people so we see the pictures of two people on board so names of persons now how can we name them if i have to give one word for both of them what will i give sportsman so they are both sportsmen and because sportsmen is a naming word for people it is a noun but what kind of a noun it is it is a common noun because it refers to all or any sportsmen in general it does not specify which sportsmen are we talking about but if i name them he is virat kohli the captain of indian cricket team and he is lionel messi so now when i say virat kohli i am talking about this specific person or this specific sportsman and no one else when i say lionel messi i am talking about this specific sportsman so virat kohli and lionel messi are proper nouns
And as you can see, I have written V capital and K capital. Also, L is capital, M is capital, because proper nouns always begin with a capital letter. Similarly, if I ask you what are these, your answer will be books, because these are the images of books. Now books are things, so books is a noun. But when I say books or book, am I specifying anything? No, it is the general name given to all the books. So books is a common noun. But if I write Little Red Riding Hood, which is the name of this book, or Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which is the name of this book, then I'm specifying the names of these books. So this is the specific name of this book, and this is the specific name of this book. So these are proper nouns, because when I tell you, get me Little Red Riding Hood, you will get me this specific book, and not just any book. And see, they start with a capital letter. So now let us identify the common and proper nouns in this sentence. So the sentence is Rabindranath Tagore was a great poet. So if I look at these two words, Rabindranath Tagore, it is the name of a person. It is the name of a specific person. So this is a proper noun. Was. Is was a noun? No, was is not naming anything. A uh, is not the name of anything. Great is not the name of anything. Poet. Poet is the name given to certain people who write poetry. But is it specifying any person? No, it is not. It is the general name for all people who write poetry. So poet is a common noun. The book was lying on the table. So word the. Is the a naming word? No. Book. We have seen that book is the name of a thing. So it is a naming word. When I say the book was lying on the table, so I am not specifying which book. It could be any book. So when we don't specify, it means it is a common noun. Was is not a naming word. Lying is not a naming word. On, the, these are not naming words. What about table? So table is a naming word for this thing where the book was kept. So table is a noun. And what kind of a noun? Common or proper? So table is a common noun because it could refer to any table. We have not specified the name of the table. So table is a common noun. Now can you answer this on your own? Mumbai is a big city. So can you identify the proper noun and the common noun in this sentence? Mumbai. So Mumbai is a place. It is the name of a place. Hence it is a noun. Also, when I say Mumbai, it refers to one specific city. So Mumbai is a proper noun. Is is not naming anything. A uh, is not naming anything. Big? No, it is talking about the size. It is not naming anything. What about city? City is again the name of a place. But it does not specify which city are we talking about. There are many cities. So city is the general name. So city is a common noun. So nouns are naming words, the naming words which specify the general names of people, places, animals or things are called common nouns and the naming words which specify the specific name of people, places, animals or things are called proper nouns. 
If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.